So I'm at the doctor here with little Miss Charlie Jean. She's had finger pricked. She's on the finger. She's had to have a urine test, a blood test. They still don't know exactly what's going on. Um, she has a fever, had a fever of 103.2, and there's really no other obvious symptoms. So um, they're here trying to figure it out. And um, so they're checking the urine. Um, last time when she was really sick, the urine is what showed up. And so we're testing that, and we're just uh, trying to stay calm and happy, right, girl? Yeah. Just waiting for results. After your little scare, you know, when you were younger, sometimes, you know, we just have to make sure of things a little bit more. And it doesn't mean anything's wrong, it's just I want to make sure that you're okay. You know? Make sure that the best thing isn't for you to go to the hospital. Less likely there's a urinary tract infection in the test. A large amount of blood, but no white cells. So we'll send it off for a culture, but that does worry. Well, we went to the doctor, and the doctor can't figure things out, so unfortunately. Um, we may have to go to the hospital. So we're trying to figure that out right now. Um, you know, she's got a fever. And they found a little blood in her urine, but they can't really find any other reason for it. Um, I think normally they would have sent us home, but with our situation, we're trying to figure out if you know, we need to go to the hospital or not. So that's what we're doing. Like, we're li we are literally just sitting and waiting for the doctors to call us back now I thought we were headed to the hospital you know because I knew she had a fever she said that nothing else was really bothering her throat didn't hurt anything like that so I knew that today was gonna feel abnormal and so as he was running the test results I am literally hoping for strep throat I'm hoping for the flu like, I would love for him to have just said today, she has the flu. Um, no, I don't want her to suffer those things, but now look where we're at. Um, you know, uh, things that would be normal for some kids will never be normal for Charlie Jean. You know, and as a parent, these moments will never be normal. You never know, is it, is it going to be the time that they tell us that her cancer's coming? I, my wife is extremely worried. I think she would have rather heard, hey, let's just go to the hospital because at least you know where you stand. And now we're sitting here and we don't know what's going on. So this is, uh, this is maddening. So as we were pulling up to the house, the doctors called us back and basically said that they're going to schedule an appointment for Friday. And that if by Friday her fevers go down, then we can either have the appointment or not have the appointment at our discretion. And if the fevers continue till Friday, then they'll go back in, retest her, and possibly do an ultrasound. Um, so basically it's a wait and see approach. And if she's not better by Friday, they're gonna send her in to do tests to see if it's a cancer situation. Um, It's a situation where I could be bitter. Um, because, you know, I don't... I want answers, you know. I want to know now what's going on with my daughter. But, you know, that's where faith and something greater than myself comes into play. And trying to trust that though the direction of the next few days may not be what I would want for my life, 
that it's the right path for my life and for my child's life. And when Charlie went through cancer the first time, that thought that God was in control of our lives is the only thing that got us through. So I'm going to lean on that today, and I'm going to go catch my first workout back from spring break. Um, this should be painful. I'm going to do chest, shoulders, triceps, just try to hit this upper body and just kind of work my way back in. I won't go super heavy really on anything. Um, just kind of go with the intensity that I feel. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so you saw the first workout back from spring break. Just kind of took it easy. Um, didn't want to just kind of blow myself up. I don't want to have an incredible soreness tomorrow. Just an easing back in workout. Um, on vacation, I did put on a pound and a half, so I got, I got some more work to do. But I did want to say that if you ever were interested, if anybody sees us and they're interested in the uh, Birmingham, Alabama area in personal training, then I am going to get back into some one-on-one -on -one personal training and you could be trained by me um, at the gym where I work, CrossFit J19 in Hoover. Uh, the training that I will do for, for people, uh, the personal training will be much like I do on my videos for myself. Um, so we'll work on muscle building, toning, and losing weight. Um, you know, also I'll give my clients nutrition help and help them and guide them in the journey as much as possible. So there's an email below, S-E-R-V-G-O-D, ServeGod23 at gmail.com. Um, I'll have a link to it. You can email me or you can contact CrossFitJ19 through the link below and just ask for Brett Reader. All right? Hopefully, uh, you know, you guys will send some good vibes our way. Um, prayer if you believe in it. And uh, God bless, guys. Thanks for tuning in.